welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new if you are new hello my name is crystal and i'm about to do a grocery haul um i have five boys my husband and i have five boys and three of them are in school and they are home for the summer <sighs> boys are literally hungry hungry hippos all the time and they're basically garbage disposals and it's gonna cost a second mortgage just to feed these guys <laughs> no but seriously they eat a lot so this is just going to be for one week of snacks lunches a few dinners I, I this doesn't even have our dinners like all of our dinners in it because I already have some stuff that are like freezer anyway it's just not in this hall is what I'm trying to say a lot of it is probably not quote unquote healthy, but um, this is what we actually eat. And we eat as healthy as we can, but there is nothing wrong with eating a few unhealthy snacks every now and then, and it's summer, and they brush their teeth, okay? And they go to the dentist regularly. So it'll, it's okay, it's fine. This is what we actually eat and in today's haul it's going to be like groceries and then I'm going to show you guys a tip if you have kids at home for the summer or just in general like you can use this even if you don't have kids but I'm going to show you a fun little trick that I learned when they were homeschooling and last summer. Um, how to keep track of the snacks and make sure they don't just like gobble them all up in one day because trust me they have done that mm -hmm. so I got groceries like I said and then I have a few baby items new baby items for baby Stellan if you don't know I have a four month old son and he is hungry too he's just hungry all of my boys are hungry all the time so I'm starting him on baby food. He is almost five months old and we're starting it a little bit early because like formula is just not enough for him. It's just not, it really isn't. So we're going to start him on baby food. I started him on bananas a few days ago and he like tried to eat the whole jar and I'm like, let's take this slow. <laughs> so I have a few baby items grocery items, all that jazz. So let's get into the haul. Yeah, let's get into the haul. Okay, I'm gonna start on the grocery side because that seems to be the easiest. Um, I got Eggos for breakfast, obviously. Actually, this can be a dinner as well. Um, I got chocolate chip this time. They have never had this and I don't know why but I just saw it sitting there and I'm like, hmm, they might actually like that. So something new for summer breakfast. And breakfast, this is, um, we use this instead of Pediasure. I think I've said that in my other hauls um, for Daxton. And then I just got um, two things of lunch meat, some honey turkey breast and honey ham, both thin, thin, thin sliced. Um, some cheese slices this is a good like quick little snack um, and then I'll show you in my tip here in a minute what I do with these and then everyone loves these iced oatmeal cookies like they go like crazy and these little cups of mandarin oranges and a cherry mixed fruit I got a family pack great value this time because this is two dollars cheaper than um, I think it's Lay's, like the ones that they make. Um, so we got this. And then I did get Lay's because these were on sale for $2. I got cheddar and sour cream and barbecue. Those will go fast. These are my favorite. Um, some great value croutons. These, actually Daxon eats these with ranch. Like that will be a snack for him. He absolutely loves that. And then um, these are basically, my older boys will eat these too, but this is basically for um, Daxton. And this will last him a while. It's got 32 pouches in there. I really wanted to try these. I don't know why. These were also sale for, they were on sale for $2. It's supposed to taste like crispy taco. I'm really curious about how those taste. Um, two bags of these Santitas. I never know how to say that. 
um, chips because when we eat tacos, like for taco night, um, one bag does not last us because we eat salsa, beans and cheese, lots of dips and stuff. So we need two bags for that. And then this will be a dinner. Um, these are like, it just depends on how I feel. This will either go just on a hamburger bun with um, this corn on the cob. So yeah, I got corn on the cob and um, some macaroni and cheese. Or what we like to do sometimes is make a really big juicy salad and then cook these and then cut them into strips and have like a chicken salad. So that's an option as well. I'm making lasagna one night. So I got some lasagna noodles. Here is some more just snacky foods. This has 20, yeah, like a 20 pack. Um, so this is like, this will go in my little tips and tricks uh, thing coming up. And then this giant bag, they like this one, the Tutti Fruities Marshmallows. Um, it's like Fruit Loops. It tastes like Fruit Loops and then it has marshmallows in it. I got some Otter Pops for, or whatever these are called, just popsicles, I guess, um, for everybody. Everybody will eat those. Um, I got some peanut butter crackers. These will go fast as well. I've never tried great value Swiss rolls. I don't, I won't eat these, but I feel like the boys might, and they were only $1.76, so it's kind of a really junky snack, but you know, what? we'll try it. Junky? No, what's the food? Oh, <laughs> Swiss rolls. This? Yeah. And then my sister told me to try these. So shout out to you, Cassie. Um, they were two for four, and I just want something different for breakfast. I'm tired of eating the same old bowl of cereal or toast. So this just looks really good. This is sausage and gravy. Um, it's from Jimmy Dean. It's a breakfast bowl. And then this one is just the bacon one that has eggs, potatoes, bacon, and cheese. I got some syrup for the eggos. This is for my lasagna. I got two gallons of water because we, me, well, me and Colin, no, all of us are going to be drinking more water, but me more so because I'm trying to lose weight. Um, I really got to pick up on my water. I'm not good at that. And two jugs of baby water for Stellan. Um, is that all the, no? Okay. And then I, this is my favorite. Um, we don't use a whole lot of butter in the house. And I know this isn't any better for you, but this is the kind of, um, what is this even called? It's not butter, but it's whatever, whatever it's called. I can't believe it's not butter. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so this is the baby food that I am going to start selling on. So I got him some bananas and then I just wanted to see which one he liked better. I got the beech nut and then I got Gerber bananas. Those, that's always a good one to start with and just like rice cereal. And then if he takes good to those, then I got some, takes good? What am I saying, guys? Apples, um, sweet potatoes, and some pears. And then I just got these mini cans, these um, Walmart brand soda. These are only like $1.76. And they're only allowed to drink these one a day. And that's why I get the tiny, tiny ones. I don't get the, the normal size ones, so. That's a special treat for them. I got root beer, the twist up, so basically Sprite, root beer, and Dr. Pepper. And then these Sam's Choice Sweet Hawaiian Rolls. What I will do with these, the kids love this for lunch, is I will um, turn these into sandwiches and just put either the, the turkey or the ham in there and they eat those up with like um, a thing of string cheese. That's like their favorite lunch. It's super easy too if you make them all ahead of time and then I'll like, so like there's 12 little sandwiches in there and then I'll wrap them in um, foil and keep them in the fridge and then they're good for a couple of days so that they can just go into the fridge and get a sandwich. And then I got these um, whole wheat hamburger buns for the chicken patties if we decide to do that. Okay, here's the non-grocery stuff. And I this is the baby stuff I was talking about, but this is all non-grocery. 
Um, I needed some new dish gloves, so I got those. I thought these were cute. They had different colors, but I really liked the black ones. And this is the toilet paper we used, guys. So there's that. <laughs> This will be in my tips and tricks right here. Um, yeah, that's right. This, you got any ideas? Do you know Do you know what I'm gonna do with this? I'm not gonna use it for shoes, I'll tell you that. But um, this helps so much keeping snacks organized for summer. So I will show you that in a minute. And then I just got, he's almost off of sippy cups, Daxton that is. He's gonna be three in July and I just want him off sippy cups completely. These were only 96 cents, so I just figure, because he keeps losing them too, and it's just not good for his teeth to be on a sippy cup. Um, so yeah, I'm getting ready to just get rid of sippy cups. That's why I just got these cheapy ones. And then I've never um, tried these, and he, Stellan, my four month old, he is teething so bad, like already, he's already teething, so. Those teeth are coming and I did some research on these and I think these will be okay. Um, I know they're all natural and everything, so I'm gonna try these teething tablets. Uh, thanks to the lady um, at Disney World this weekend um, telling me about these. These were kind of expensive, but she like swore by them because until they're like six months, they're basically just learning to poop. I know that's weird, but she said, you've got to try this. And he's been super gassy too. So um, she said, this like changed her life <laughs> is what she said. <laughs> so I said, okay, $12 to change my life. Okay, I'll try it. So yeah, I'm really curious to see if these work. And then I just got some hand um, sanitizer and this is the spray kind. I've never tried hand sanitizer spray, so. This is from that new company. I think uh, Dax Shepard and his wife. Why can I not think of her name? Wow, I remember Dax Shepard, but not her. <laughs> I think this is their brand that they did, the Hello Bello, I'm pretty sure. So this was only $1.86, so I thought I'd give it a try. Some cleaning miracle erasers. I normally get the other brand, but I just thought I'd try these. Some wipes for Daxton and Stellan. These are the Powder Fresh. I don't know why I got this, but I think it was on sale or something, so I'm just gonna try those. Um, Drift is everything, so I had to pick up a thing of Drift for um, Stellan's clothes. I got two things of bleach, just a little Clorox one for cleaning, and then that one for um, laundry. And then the very last thing is this he is getting bored. He is four months old, like I keep saying, and he's just bored. He doesn't want to lay down, and he's starting to grab at things and play with things, so I think this will be awesome, and it teaches them to sit up a little bit more, and he's like literally almost there. And the thing I liked about this is that it's a four in one, so not only is it um, like they can sit in it and play, um, but it like grows with them and then like this this thing comes off the tray can come off you can like add it to the See that making either play you can put it on I might not even have to buy a high chair I can just put this thing like strap it to one of our kitchen chairs and It kind of just grows with them. So I thought this was a really good investment and maybe he won't be bored <laughs> That poor child I swear he just like he's you can just tell he's not tired, he's not hungry, he's just bored. So I got him a new toy. Okay, now I'm going to show you my little tip or my little trick that I use for summertime when the boys are home with their snacks. And I can like visually see everything, make sure nothing is just flying off of the shelves. And once it's gone, it's gone. And I can say, okay, you want a snack? go over to the pantry and pick one out. And like I said, that way I can just kind of see for myself, okay, how much snacks do we have left? Do I need to pick anything up? But if they go through it, once it's gone, it's gone. So they know that and when they can see it too, it helps. So like, they're like, okay, uh, when they're just grabbing it out of the box, they don't really care. But when they can like literally see it in front of them, okay, once this is all gone, I'm not gonna buy us any more snacks. 
So um, hopefully this, this helps you guys if you have kids home from school or if you just wanna keep track of your snacks for yourself. Um, yeah, this has been an awesome tip, trick, thing that I learned several years ago. So here's that. Okay, so here's my little hack for summer, keeping track of your snacks and stuff, um, or just all the time. This is hanging on the back of the door in our pantry. Sorry for the really crappy lighting. Um, but this is basically that shoe organizer that I showed you guys that I got. This is only $4.98 at Walmart, so super cheap and you can just hang it on the back of the door or basically hang it anywhere. You could probably even like just nail this to the wall somewhere if you didn't have a door or whatever. Um, there are 24 sleeves. Wow, my camera really doesn't want to focus on this. Wow. Yeah, what I do is I just fill all of these little pockets up with different kinds of snacks and um, I don't like doing them by day or like there's no there's no rhyme or reason basically on how what like I put inside of there just to keep them organized and like I said so you can like visually and they can like visually see everything and they can just grab it and go so I'm gonna fill this up really quick and then show you what it looks like there it is it's all filled up and like I said I know this is like kind of weird maybe to some people but sometimes when the kids are like hey I'm hungry I can just be like just go pick something off the back of the pantry door and like I said also this way I can keep track of it because I will I will literally hide the rest of this because obviously this is an everything I will hide the rest of it and once this is gone then if this is gone in two days, like if, the, if every single one of these <laughs> pockets are empty in two days, then I know they're eating just random snacks and then that's why they're not hungry for dinner. So once this is empty, it's empty. So, you know, I'm not, and they can choose whatever they want. It's not, well, this week one of you gets one of these. They can choose whatever they want, but they can only pick one thing. And um, I like to just, you know, just cute little easy ways. Like this is a healthy snack and this makes it easier too. Like these mandarin oranges and I just stick a little plastic spoon in there and then they can just throw the whole thing away. So I hope this little tip, little hack um, helps you guys or if it does, follow us on Instagram um, and then like if you do this like take a picture of it and tag me in it that would be so awesome um, and so here's my Instagram right here since we don't have comments um, I would love like I love communicating with you guys over there so um, yeah if you do this take a picture of it and tag me in it that would be absolutely awesome so there it is guys <laughs> there's my little hack for summer for snacks Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that little hack, little trick that I learned how to keep track of all your snacks and stuff. So um, yeah, if you liked today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please hit that big red subscribe button so you can join our YouTube family. And yeah, we're, we're, we're a huge family and we travel. And if you haven't seen any of our videos, we just did a giant weekend Disney trip. So I will link those videos below and in the iCard above. So yeah. So, 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 so yeah. Why do I sound like a valley girl? I don't know. It's because I'm trying to end the video and now it's getting weird. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button. If you liked this haul, give it a thumbs up. We love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye. The summer's calling